What are these? Why do we use them? And why do we use arrows but no feathers? Welcome back to Inaka Life. I'm Elliot Childress, and in case you're new to the channel, I'm a jet program ALT located in an old samurai town in Shimano Prefecture. And I make videos about Japanese culture, life in the Inaka, and more recently, Kyudo, because I have a test coming up, and that's been on my mind a lot recently. So I have my school practicing today, and I figure I'll make a video about an often overlooked part of Japanese archery. This. Ta-da! So what exactly are these? In Japanese, it's called a makiwara, but in English, we call it a butt. Because of course we do. Now, if you've done archery at like a camp or something, you probably shot at a hay bale. Hay bales are different than butts. An arrow from a high poundage bow will go straight through a hay bale. Butts, on the other hand, are much tighter. An arrow will not go through a butt. So butts have been used as archery targets in both Japan and Europe for hundreds and hundreds of years. And for reasons I don't know, couldn't find any documentation on it, but the European butts I've seen tend to be flatter. Kind of like coils of tight rope. Japanese butts, on the other hand, tend to be cylindrical. So why do we actually use butts in Kyudo? For me, there's two reasons. The first of which is to study the flight path of the arrow, or more specifically, the orientation of the arrow at the crucial moment when it leaves the bow. So to do that, we stand as close as possible to the butt and shoot so that as soon as the arrow leaves the string, it's about to enter the butt. And that preserves the orientation of the arrow at that moment and gives us a little snapshot of where the arrow was at that point in time during our shot. But obviously, the feathers act to straighten the arrow. And that's why we use featherless arrow. So as soon as the arrow leaves the bow, it's going to stay in that position and it's not going to have any feathers to change its position. And we can see an accurate representation of how we shot. So why is this important? Obviously, arrows have feathers for a reason. It helps keep them straight during flight. But the problem is that the feathers act on drag and not on any sort of propulsion on the tip. So if the arrow leaves the bow in this orientation, it's gonna be straightened out over here, which is gonna be like half a meter off target downrange. So we want the arrow to be leaving the bow as straight as humanly possible so that the feathers will keep it in that orientation and hit the target. Now, the second reason that I like to use a butt is one that I'm not sure is actually one of the intended purposes of it, but it definitely helps me. As you can see, there is no target. And as I said in my last video, Kudo is about learning to shoot an arrow the right way rather than hitting the target every time. But for me, that desire to hit the target still kind of creeps in, sometimes at the detriment of my form. So when I'm shooting at the butt, I can't worry about the target. I can only focus on my form because there is no target to worry about. And that just helps center my mind and retrain my mind to remember that the form is the most important part of Kyudo. Now this is something that I've actually adapted to my range practice as well. And just a little quick disclaimer, I don't think you should do this without like explicit permission or something like that, because I just made this up. I've never heard or seen of anyone doing it, and it might be breaking some sort of taboo that I have yet to hear about. But what I actually do is I shoot at the butt a couple times, and then once my brain is starting to get in the just focus on the form mindset, I then shoot down range, but I don't set up any target. And I don't really know why, but that's the sense in my head of even though there's no target there, I still want to hit it. And so it's just a little bit more stressful. And so I just incrementally increase the stress level. And then after it's continually been pounded into my brain that the form is the most important thing that I should be focusing on, that's when I put up the target. And by that time, it's in my head, and consequently, I hit the target more. So I don't think you should do it, but it works for me. I think that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like, because algorithm, math, and stuff, but also, it makes me feel better. And if you didn't like the video, leave a thumbs down, because I need to know what I'm doing wrong, and I need to know if these videos are good or bad. So yeah, either one, fair game. And if you want to see more videos about Japanese culture, life in Japan as a jet, or more specifically Kyudo, I'm also doing bonsai, and I just started doing Ikebana, so maybe I'll make some videos about that. But either way, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff that I just said, and I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.